Hey there, bud. Welcome to another episode of Three Toe Customs. I'm your host with the most Three Toe Joe. If you didn't know, well, now you know. <laughs> what do we got going on today? Well, today we got a pretty cool one thanks to our friends over at Kemi Moto. They sent us one of their nice storage bags here that mounts up in between the two seats in your Polaris Razor. Uh, this bag will fit many different models of Polaris Razors. Um, really nice quality product by the looks of it so far. I haven't had a chance to test it out, but just by the looks of it, you know, it's made with a real nice waterproof material. You know, it's more of like almost a, a rubber compound instead of like, let's say on their door bags where it's just more like a material with a waterproof coating on it. These here actually do look a lot more waterproof. So definitely a nice option to have. Like I say, you can never have too much storage when it comes to these players razors because they just don't come with enough from the factory. Uh, you know, you got the, the glove box, but I find sometimes the glove box, what'll happen is if you, you go through a lot of water during the day and you splash a lot of water up into the cab, you'll end up getting some water inside of your, uh, your glove box. So, I mean, definitely nice to have some real nice waterproof storage where you can keep some of your valuables nice and safe. So, uh, with all that said, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get this installed. Uh, we're going to test fit some stuff in here to see how much stuff this will hold because it looks like it'll definitely hold quite a bit. So if that's something that interests you, well then follow along. And then they will come back down and they will clip into your bottom panel way down here. And then at the bottom of the bag here, you got these two little hooks that will also just clip into the bottom of the panel right down here. So like I said, it should only be a few minutes here to install it and probably get it all adjusted and everything finalized. But besides that, nothing too major. Um, so let's get right to her. So I think the best way to start this would be to uh, start getting these bottom hooks in there because they look like they might be a little bit more of a challenge, but we'll see how it goes here. There you go. Actually, that wasn't too bad at all. If you just uh, lay the, the flat flat and slide it in, boom, she went right in. No problem at all. Just get her lined up here. And like I said, thankfully I got these nice flaps here where I can just pass my straps through. Makes my life a lot easier for this, that's for sure. There we go. Snap in nice and easy. We'll go and get the other side done. We'll adjust our straps and we'll be done. Ah, nice. Just got to adjust the straps now and we're done. All right, so like I said, the bag seems to have quite a bit of storage capacity in it, so you can put in there just about anything you like, um, especially stuff you want to keep dry, right? So for me, I like to bring a lot of little survival items out while riding with me because, well, sometimes I do late night riding and you just never know what can happen and uh, what you might need in a, in a pinch. So uh, basically, you know, I like to throw things like a little pocket knife in there, some fire starters. Um, I always keep some rope with me and just in case, you never know. You never know what you can use that for. Uh, you know, you can keep lots of tools in there, you know, in case you need to change a belt or something like that. You blow a belt out on the trail, you know, different tools. Um, I like to keep a nice little multi uh, hex tool here. So, uh, you know, you can remove all your panels and stuff like that. Um, quite often I find that what will happen is you end up losing your factory tool kit and you just end up needing some of these things. You know, I like to stick a flashlight in there all kinds of stuff um so yeah i mean you know you can just tell and i still got tons and tons of room in there uh you know the zipper on it really nice heavy duty zipper uh, and it's got this nice little flap that covers your zipper as well so big shout out to kemi moto for hooking us up with this awesome cool bag here now the cool thing is is they're not just hooking me up they're hooking you up as well that's right so if you go down in the link in the description i'll leave a link there to the kemi moto website where you can go purchase this bag if you're interested it'll also be a code down there for that's good for 10 percent off nice never go wrong with saving some money right so always worth watching my videos because you never know what kind of deals we're going to have on coming on here in the future <laughs> So, with all that said and done, I'd like to thank you all for watching the video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. If you did, go ahead, smash those subscribe and notification buttons. It really goes a long way towards helping me build my channel. But for now, you guys keep the shiny side up all four on the floor, and we'll catch you on the flip side.